Hi, this is David Parrish. Welcome to the World Missions and Evangelism video blog. So good to talk to you today. Today, for a few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about how to do a three-column Bible study. When I first learned about uh, disciple-making movements, uh, nine years ago, uh, myself and some other friends, one of which was Randy Travis, who's our uh, uh, strategy coordinator in uh, uh, Latin America, uh, went to Dallas, Texas, where we spent a week being trained by David Watson. We were learning, we had heard about, the, well, we were calling them church planting movements back in those days. We had heard some testimonies, powerful things that God was doing, and we wanted to look into this strategy and come to understand it. And that was just, it was just a life-changing week for all of us that went there, uh, at least for our team that was there. And, uh, uh, in fact, when we finished that week, uh, we knew that that's what we wanted to do, and we had a vision to see uh, a, a disciple-making movement, a church planting movement, uh, uh, facilitated in Honduras. And today, as I'm making this video, there are probably 2,000 groups, or nearly 2,000 groups in uh, Honduras and other places in Latin America that have resulted from that and many people come to the Lord but that was the week we we were getting the vision and we were getting some of the principles and and learning you know how what it what is the way what are the ways that God has uh, uh, blessed disciple making movements all over the world and so forth and so we learned a lot of things we learned a lot of practical things a lot of principles and, but that week the one thing that I brought away from there that impacted my personal life, and, and when I taught it to other people, the lives of other people, uh, probably more than any other thing, was how to do a three-column Bible study. Because the one thing we wanted to do is learn how to study the Bible in such a way that it leads us to obey the Word of God, that we, we study in such a way that uh, it leads us to obey. Uh, one of my key scriptures when I uh, teach this to people is Joshua 1 and verse 8, Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, where God said to Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you'll make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Now, he said three things. He said, this is the, the, the what I want you to do. I want you to do these three things when it comes to the word of God. Uh, I want you to not let it depart from your mouth. And what he's saying is, I, I want you to say it. I want you to speak it. In fact, I want you to speak it out loud so that you hear it. In other words, I want you to observe what it actually says. He's not, I, I want you to understand, it's not so much that you say it out loud. The, the, the point he's getting at is, I want you to observe my word, to read it, thus to say it, thus to hear it. In other words, I want this to get into you. I want you to absorb the word of God. So first of all, I call that hearing the word, hear the word. And then he said, I want you to meditate in it day and night. Meditate, think about it, ruminate on it. And, and the way that I have applied this in my life is I want to hear the word. I want to see what it says and hear it. And then I want to understand it. I want to hear the word. I want to understand it. And then he says, in order that you may observe to do it, I want you to obey it. I want you to do this thing. I want you to obey it. So he says, "If here's what I want you to do. I want you to hear the word. I want you to understand the word, and I want you to obey it. When I preach or teach this with an audience of people, many times I'll, I'll get them to do those very things. I'll say, hear the word, understand the word, obey the word. Hear, understand, obey. Because he says, then, then you'll make your way prosperous, and then you'll have good success. Now, I'm not going to teach a lot about that scripture. But what I learned that was so helpful to me was a method of, of studying the Bible uh, that we call the three-column Bible study. And I came home from that week, uh, and we had learned many things, and out of that came everything that we're doing now. Uh, but the first thing that made such an impact to me was, I'm going to obey the Word of God. I'm going to come to the Scripture in a new way. And uh, I want you to understand that uh, I've been a student of Scripture for many years. I, I studied the Bible. Uh, I was raised in church. I was raised in a Christian home. I was raised in a pastor's home. 
and I got saved when I was six years old, and I started reading the Bible for myself on an almost daily basis when I was eight years old, and I'm almost 53 now, so I've been reading the Bible every day for 45 years almost. And at the time that nine years ago, when I first learned about the three column Bible study, I, you know, 45 minus nine, I'd been reading the Bible every day for 36 years, basically. I mean, they're sure there's days in there I skipped, but that my point is, as a regular part of my life, I'm a daily Bible reader uh, for 36 years when I had this training, when I learned about the three column Bible study. And uh, not only had I been reading the Bible for 36 years, I've been saved for 38 years, I've been reading the scripture for 36 years, and I had a, b a bachelor's degree in Bible and theology and a master's degree from a seminary, and I was in full-time ministry, and I was pastoring a church, and I would have thought I really understand the scripture. But I just want to tell you that as I began to do this method of scripture reading, I began to see things in the Bible I'd never seen before. I really began to understand things that I had read over. And so I want to teach you how to do a three-column Bible study. And I want to do it this way. Just take a piece of paper, just any uh, blank uh, piece of paper, and uh, you take uh, something. I'm going to use this marker so that you can see it pretty well. And you draw two straight lines. Uh, down. Now, I realize on this video, this is going to be kind of in reverse, but uh, it goes from left to right, and I think you're probably seeing from my right side to left, but uh, when, when it's this way, it's from left to right. At the top of the left-hand column, I write the word here, here. In the middle column, I write the word understand. And in the right column, I write the word obey. Hear, understand, and obey. Because what God said was this. Here's what I want you to do with my word. I want you to hear the word. I want you to don't let it depart from your mouth. Keep saying it so you can hear it. Take, observe, read, and observe my word. So hear the word. And then he said meditate on it day and night. Think about it day and night. Why? So you can understand it. In order that, that third column, you'll be able to do all that's written in it. You'll obey. And he said, if you hear, understand, and obey the word of God, you will live a life that God prospers and that you have good success. And, and, and this is a key principle of all disciple-making movements. If you really want to be a follower of the Lord, then you've got to let his word be the authority in your life. And that means hearing it, understanding it, and obeying it. So today, uh, I'm teaching you how to do a three-column Bible study, which starts with taking a piece of paper, turning it sideways, drawing two lines, making three columns, and under the category where it says, hear the word, find a passage of Scripture. And let's say you take Joshua 1.8. And normally, I would take a paragraph, not a, not a whole chapter, but a paragraph of scripture. And, and in that, and, and, I, and so let's say I might just take one verse, but normally it's going to be more than a verse, a paragraph. But if I took Joshua 1, 8, and I, 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 I wrote it out, and I, I just wrote it, and I said, this book of the law shall not, and I'm not going to go ahead and write it all out, but if I write that verse out, I write it out so that I'm reading it. I may even read it out loud and I'm hearing it. And I write it right here. I write it out. Now I can read it from the page where I wrote it. And I'm engaging various senses. I'm engaging my mouth. I'm engaging the speech. I'm engaging my eyes. I'm reading it. I'm speaking it. I'm hearing it audibly. I'm writing it tactically. Uh, my, my, I'm, 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 I'm writing it, I'm, I'm, I'm engaging my writing, and now I can read it. And what I'm doing is I'm observing what God's Word says. And in that sense, I'm hearing God's Word. I'm letting it in. Now, in this second column, I want to put in my own words, what do I understand that to mean? I want to meditate. Let me think about what I just wrote. What do I think about that? And so I, as I think about Joshua 1.8, I he is saying, I need 
to hear God's word. I need to understand God's word. I need to obey God's word. I've written that understanding. I could go on to write some more. If I do these things, God will bless, will bring blessings into my life. I will fulfill my purpose. Good success means I will have the wisdom to fulfill what he, what creates success in God's definition of success. But you don't have to write all that down. What do you understand it to mean? What is, what is God's word and what is the Holy Spirit speaking to you out of that? You're writing that under understand. So I know I've heard God's word. I'm understanding God's word. And in this third column, I'm going to write a sentence. And I might write one or two or three sentences, but I may just write one. It's okay just to write one sentence. But let's say, what am I going to do? If I was going to obey that today, not good intentions. I'm not going to write down, I ought to. No. What will I do today? to obey that scripture. What will I do today to obey that scripture? So I'm going to start the, the sentence with, I will. And then, I will what? I will give priority today to reading God's word. That's, that's a decision. Or, I might put a second one. I will begin today a three-column Bible study. I'm going to begin today. That's my decision. Today I'm going to begin to do this practice of the three-column Bible study. Let's say, for instance, I, I was in another scripture. Let's say, for instance, I was in Ephesians chapter 6, and I have just written, I'm a husband. I just had my 32nd wedding anniversary, and I write that, I read the scripture, and I write the scripture where it says, Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And I write that down, and I'm meditating on what does it mean? What does God want me to do? So under here, it's just I, under understanding, I say, God desires that I show love to my wife in a practical way, the way Christ has demonstrated his love, by sacrificing for me. Over here, today, I will make a sacrifice of love for my wife. And I let me give you very specific. I will do that by... And you know, what is it your wife wants you to do? What is it that she needs? What is it that's going to communicate your care and love for her? I'm going to wash the dishes today. Say, like, would you write that down under I will? Absolutely. Absolutely. And when I do it, I'm doing it for the Lord, and I'm doing it in obedience to him I'm, because I heard from God. You know, many times people say, do you have a word from God for me? Yeah, I have 66 books. I have a lot. But it's not going to do you any good until you take a portion of it and you read it and this is the beauty of this three-column Bible study method. You can, you, if you begin to practice this in your life, well, here's what I want to tell you. I have practiced this in my life, and, and I can tell you, and then I have taught other people to do this. And I have had people tell me that when I started doing the three-column Bible study method as a regular part of my life, it revolutionized my life. I've had people say to me things like, uh, I knew the Lord, I was a Christian, I, I came to church, I listened to the word, and I you know, tried to serve God, and God blessed me. But when I started doing, on a regular basis, the three-column Bible study in my own life, when I started doing that, things began to change, and I began to see things. And I'm telling you, I can tell you that I, I told you, I was I, when I learned this, I'd been reading the Bible for 36 years, was in ministry, had advanced degrees, you know, I, you know, had studied Greek, you know, I, you know, here, look, I, I knew a lot about the Bible, and, but in this simple method, I have encountered God sometimes in amazing ways, and, and God has uh, shown me things in his word, and, but the most important thing is that when I have obeyed it, and when I have put that into practice in my life, and I've been able to say, I have heard from God and I have obeyed God. I've understood, I've heard and I've understood and I've obeyed. And here's what God says. You do that and God's power is going to be released in your life. In that he says, you're, I will make your way prosper and I will give you good success. I'm going to, I'm going to give, and 
that good success means I'll give you wisdom. I'll give you understanding and wisdom to make the right kinds of decisions in your life that will bring those kinds of results. Uh, this is a fundamental thing in disciple making movements, but I just wanted to show you in a simple way, a simple way of studying the Bible. Anybody can do this. If you, somebody says, so you, so I don't know a whole lot about the Bible. You don't have to know anything about God. You don't have to know anything. You don't even have to be a Christian. Uh, anybody can take this book and open this book and take a passage and write it down and say what I understand and say what I'm going to do. This is a this is a way that God can speak to any person and begin to reveal his will to them. So I want to just encourage you to make a three-column Bible study. Do a three-column Bible study. Take any passage you want to and do a three-column Bible study. And do this for a little while. Do some three-column Bible studies. I have processed whole, you know, uh, I, 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 books of the Bible. You know, I, I like to take a book of the Bible sometimes and and just process through that book of the Bible in a three-column way. And I will tell you, it will open your, your, your mind, open your understanding. Right now, myself and a friend of mine are, are processing through uh, the book of Romans together. And it is so amazing. I promise you it's better than reading a commentary. So here, understand and obey the three-column Bible study method. God bless. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope that uh, you will have a great day.